Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Dropping Danny off here at the freight line of first thing this morning. Good deal. We're gonna head on to the disc. Wow, one thing for sure. We're gonna have to use the squeegee this morning. I used it on the truck windows. Every single glass is saturated with dew this morning. Danny asked me, did it rain last night? He was looking at the water on the grass. I was like, not that I know of. Oh, ow. I was knocked out last night. I mean, like a dead sleep. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we're going to get all the windows cleaned off, you guys. I will check back in. All right, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> nah, um, I'm still on Mother Beaver Dam number two side, so we're going to pick up where I left off yesterday. So when I left you guys, I was finishing up that small field in the corner and then after that I got this field right here knocked out. I didn't do these ends but now I gotta hit the field that we normally ride around to get to Mother Beaver Dam number two. Of course I'm gonna hit every peanut field at an angle so let's see here. I think I will align myself with the very first bell on the second set of bells that's lined up there. That'll be sharp enough. The window's already trying to fall back up. Alrighty. Make sure I don't diss up the road. <laughs> and we are off. I gotta make sure I turn early enough not to tear up their cotton bales. I'm gonna turn to the right. Go ahead and knock out the short side. Let's see, uh, I think uh, maybe just one more pass will knock out this in here. Might be a little gap over there. Maybe the end row pass will take that out. you guys I'm gonna be working on it for a while I'll check back in
right, you guys, as you can see, I'm at the far corner of Mother Beaver Dam number two field here. It's 957 now. I'm about to do the ends along the creek side here. And when I get down to the entrance, y'all know what it is. I'm gonna use them on my break time to go in there. And I'm more than likely gonna take the potato rake and pull a little bit out. <laughs> I am gonna get close to the woods here because y'all remember there was some nice ruts here. It's actually a little bit wet. There's some water standing in some of them ruts. You probably can see that water right there better. I'm spinning just a little bit. Oh, that's gonna, oh! We're gonna splash and get muddy. Oh man, that's hurling chunks because it's wet. That's gonna be something bumpy to ride across. <laughs> All righty, I'm gonna stop right here and hop out. Look at the potato rake leaning on the tree. <laughs> my bag my whole bag oh man chicken salad and everything <laughs> the beavers already attacking us you guys look at the muddy tires I put me on some gloves in case I need to handle some nasty sticks <laughs> I'm not gonna be in here long It's starting to look a lot more open out here now, ain't it? Stuff dying down. Good, it's still not a whole bunch of water on the far side of that dam they got right there. So that's good but it's holding a nice bit of water. I can't get to that one. Nothing but water around there. And you see I got on my regular boots. Oh, wow, man. Oh, wow, man. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be doing a whole bunch, huh? Cause I, the way they got this, man, Yikes. Look at all the mud. This is just, this is just to let them know that we coming sometime or another. I ain't gonna say soon, cause I don't know. Man. Nah, I can't do that. Can't do much because I can't step in the water. But we'll put a breach in it. That's right. We'll put a breach in it. Okay, I don't want to uh, be flinging mud everywhere. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> Before I beat on fell in. Ugh. A lot of water back there, you guys. All right, like I said, I I didn't come to Terry Long. Just giving them a heads up. 
be on the lookout for Team Terrell. It's building up real strong back there. Anyway, I'm gonna head on back, get this field knocked on out. I'm not really hungry, so I'm not even gonna eat any chicken salad right now. Yeah, I know the deal. I'll check in at some point. you guys Dan just text me and asked if I can go make sure Danny was all right at the grain bin that he ain't had no problems it is 12 34 it just changed after I showed you <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then after I do that I'm gonna go and do my Friday thing my Friday lunch I see him I guess maybe he's getting set up probably had to clean the pit out too we'll see So yeah, he had to clean out the pit, had to clean out the bottom of the wet bin and the elevator, you guys. We didn't do none of that stuff. So basically we went to the soybean field prematurely. But anyway, this is full of maggots. There's a maggot. <laughs> oh, I'm dumping it over here in the woods. But anyway, he got it. Uh, he got it cleaned out it had got stopped up too so that was another hold up oh that's a piece of paper i don't want to throw that over there rotten corn yummy yummy i'm sorry i'm sorry but this is what you got to deal with <laughs> and off he goes there Yes, the soybeans have to be dried, you guys. We're drying them, putting it in the bin, and haul it later, just like with the corn. Yeah, it's clean in there now. to clean the trash from this is the bottom of the wet bin there was trash in here had to clean that out and then the dryer over here had to open the door at the bottom actually it's on the other side at the bottom and let the corn fall out you don't want to mix corn and soybeans together then we had to well not we but Danny did had to take those doors out clean the rotten corn from out of there too so he did a lot of work by himself I'm gonna have to tell Dan Dan you went to the soybean field prematurely <laughs> But anyway, now I'll go take lunch. 
We have arrived. I told the girl all I needed was two macadamia cookies today because I still had a chocolate chip cookie. She said, where you get it from? I said, um, Bernie's. It was given to me. She said, oh, you're a trader. I said, no, no, I'm not a trader. <laughs> it was given to me. But anyway, we're heading on to the shop, you guys, so I can get my grub on. Ooh, check out this old school that's about to go by. Yes, sir. What kind is that? Was that a Nova? Anyway, Chevelle, I don't know. <laughs> it was sweet. All right, you guys, we're going to get back to it. I'm going to try not to be much more longer today, though. The wind is picked up. I don't know if there's some rain clouds moving in or what. I stopped in this field up here on that side of the soybeans, and then after that, I'll be moving over to the 60 acre field here. I'm sure I'll be in that field the rest of the day. <laughs> Even though disking isn't as slow as harvesting peanuts, you can believe that. Oh, wow, yeah, it's 313 right now. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely be <laughs> in that field the rest of the day after I get through with this one. He finished that field and he's unhooking from the header there. Wait a minute, look at the windshield, you guys. There are some raindrops coming down. Oh, man. That might put a halt to Dan's soybean harvesting if it comes very much rain. Because just like with peanuts, you don't want the soybean pods and the bushes to be wet. Instead of waiting over here for him to bring the header, I got to go pick him up and take him to get the grain cart because it's raining over there as well. Danny's going to ride with me instead and uh, Dan's going to get moved over there while we're going to get the grain cart over there. And now Danny and Dan are ride back with me. Drop Dan off at the combine there. And I got to pick Danny up. He's going to carry the red truck over there. Frank! It's not raining anymore either. We still aren't going to get to see any soybeans harvested, you guys. You guys! We are going to get to see a little bit of soybean harvest there. It's so nasty with that bean dust though. That bean dust is horrible. It is horrible, you guys. trying to get a place cut out so we can park the trucks and stuff he's gonna park it down here all right he's gonna go unload that and we're going back to the disc all right you guys i'm here in the 60 acre field and the sun is trying to peep out from behind the cloud Woo! it's been dark whoa wait a minute oh my goodness now it's bling blinging right in my eyes. If I pull my screen down, y'all won't be able to see. Oh, but I need it. Wow. <laughs> Let me hurry up and end this video. Anyway, I'm glad we were able to see a little bit of 
soy bean harvested today. Yeah, it was a surprise to me. Not just you, but to me as well. Because you remember I said, oh, we're not going to get to see any soybeans harvested. Next thing you know, I'm over there in the bean dust trying to get some footage for you guys. <laughs> but anyway, man, I'm about to wrap this video on up. It's about 5.30 right now. I'm, uh, I got a good ways to go in this field still. But anyway, hey, I'm rocking one of my wife's shirts. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's right, God loves you. He loves you. She has a new design in the store, 99level1.com. Link in the description box. Check it out when you get time, all right? I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. Smash that like button for us. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.